Hi, uh, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, it's my opinion that there's a lot of money to be made on NFL futures. If you know what you're doing, and if you're able to take advantage of the leverage that casinos are offering you, you can have strategic picks that make the playoffs, and then you can hedge the play and make a profit. What you're looking for are undervalued teams and huge leverage. Now, earlier this year, and the videos are still up on YouTube, I was talking up the Kansas City Chiefs when they were long underdogs, right? 25 to 1 and stuff like that. Well, they're 7 and 0 right now. The line on them has dropped to 12 to 1. They were shoe in to make the playoffs, right? In my opinion, that play has already delivered and might deliver considerably more. You can already hedge that play for significant profits. Right By the time the Chiefs show up in the playoffs, depending on their seeding, you might be looking at a situation where even if they lose, you make a handsome profit by betting against them because you were able to get 25 to 1 leverage at the time of the play. Right? Well, let's talk about another team that I believe serious gamblers need to know about. And that's the team that won last night, the Carolina Panthers. Now, you've heard me say that sometimes the casinos simply get it wrong. They've gotten it wrong about this team. Understand the Panthers are above 500 right now. Understand that right now, the casinos are giving you 33 to 1 odds on the Panthers to win the Super Bowl. 33 to 1 odds on a team that, in my opinion, has one of the strongest defenses in the entire NFL. If you want to see great numbers, look at Cam Newton's numbers the last two weeks. Cam Newton, quite frankly, is one of the most improved quarterbacks in the NFL. Right now, let's talk about Carolina for a moment. Why I think they're worth a play here at 33 to 1. To be blunt, I've been playing Carolina since they were up over 66 to 1, right? Carolina's next game is at home. Think about it. They're already a game above 500, and their next game's at home. And it's against a very beatable Atlanta Falcon team. Now, the Falcons are reeling, not just record wise, but health wise. Roddy White is not expected to play this weekend. They're already without Julio Jones, right? So, my point is simply this. Statistically, if you look at the numbers, Carolina should win that game. Now, the next game's intriguing. It's Carolina at San Francisco. That's a watershed game. I want you to circle that game on the calendar, right? Contrary to public opinion, that game's a winnable game by Carolina. Carolina has an excellent rush defense. They can slow down Frank Gore. Right now, Colin Kaepernick has a problem reading defenses. He's physically gifted. Make no mistake about it. But, if it's not to Anquan Bolden, and if it's not to Vernon Davis, then it's not to anyone. Kaepernick is overly reliant on those two guys. Neither guy, quite frankly, is immune from being shut down. We saw Seattle shut down Anquan Bolden. My point is simply, take a hard look at that November 10th game, Carolina at San Francisco. Because if Carolina wins that game, right, they'll be three games over 500 
and in my opinion they'll be in the catbird seat in terms of making the playoffs. I think it's worth the risk. Understand the week after that they're back home against the New England Patriots. Now I consider the Patriots to be a pretty good futures play as well. But let's concede that this year hasn't been Tom Brady's best year. This year hasn't been Bill Belichick's best year. Right? Even that New England at Carolina game is a winnable game for the Carolina Panthers. Right? The following two weeks, the Panthers play Miami and Tampa Bay. Right? This is a team that could easily get to 10 wins. The fact that any casino is willing to give you 33 to 1 odds on Carolina, a team that already has a winning record, is lunacy. You need to take that bet, right? I think you need to take the bet right here, understanding that if Carolina beats Atlanta, those odds are going to drop considerably. Right, Your goal is to make it to the playoffs with a few teams at outsized odds. Then, when they play a tough opponent that you think might win, keep in mind, if you bet $1 to win 33 then at that point you can hedge the play. You can bet 10 bucks on the other side of the aisle. Right, If that opponent wins, guess what? You've magically turned an $11 investment into a $9 win, right? $9 or $10 win, depending on the odds you get. You might even be able to get better than even money odds if the playoff game is in Carolina, right? Keep in mind, if Carolina wins, then your original 33 to 1 bet continues on, only you've subtracted $10 from the possible payout, right? So you'd still have $23 worth of leverage to play with. Give it a look. Thanks for stopping by.